Hello everyone, it's a long time since I haven't posted a video for you, but I have something very interesting to share with you today. I would like to share you how to cross pollinate two different plants so that you can get your own varieties. I have to own you that it will take you at least three years until the progeny of these two plants will flower, but it's worth waiting and the reward is thrilling. Plus, it's really fun. So, what I would use today. Here are two varieties, very different from each other. This is Bolero, a large flowering pink, simple variety. And this is a Colibri variety, a small flowering, green to yellow color. I've chosen specifically these two varieties because they are very different from each other. And I think their progeny will be very interesting. Alright, other than this you will need a small brush, it can be also bigger than this. With this you will collect the pollen from one, one plant and put it on another. So let's do this. First, let's talk about the flower organs. Here is the pistil, which is the female organ. And around it, either on the top or on the bottom, there will be a few stamens, or those filled with pollen. These are the masculine organs. So how do you do this? You take a few pollen from the other plant, like I did here, and you put the pollen on the pistil of this plant. You really want to make sure that you cover. So in case you don't, need, you don't get enough pollen from one stamen of the other plant, take from two flowers or even three. Do it a few times until this pistil is really covered up. Also, very important, at the moment of pollination, make sure that this pistil is really opened up. This is the moment when it can receive pollen. That's about it. It was easy, no? So, a few weeks after, this pump over here will swollen up and become a fruit that later will open up and ripe. Once this is done, the seeds will be ready to be sown into soil. I'll show you this in another tutorial. I'll keep you posted on Instagram about how the fruit of these two beauties develop. So make sure you follow Bob in the Box on Instagram. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas.